Welcome to Wild West and Wizards. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. I've been playing this game for the past week or so. Just came out pretty recently. And I've been having a blast, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd bring you guys along. And we can kind of explore this awesome open world together. Wild West is an awesome open world western, as you can see. And uh, you get to be a wizard. Actually, there's three different classes you can choose from. And I chose to be uh, a wizard. So, one of the... Let's see. Let's see what quest should we uh, we should go for now. Right now, I'm about to level, level 10. So... I'm um, uh, decently far into this game. Let's do a Lost Soul. Yeah, let's do a Lost Soul. That's a good one. We're already here in downtown. That'll be quick to get to. So, Preacher in downtown has gone missing, and the sheriff wants me to investigate. He gave me a key to the church and said I should investigate and see what I can find. And we shall see what we can find indeed. Here's the, uh, the, the bounty hunter board. So, you can take these. I've already taken all the available bounties. Um, but whenever you come into a new town, you can... Get those bounties and uh, see what you get. I think I'm just going to head over and explore this other church first. You know, I don't really think there's anything in here. I just want to double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Because it very, it, it's very easy to miss stuff in this game if you're not careful. You always got to check like behind for like a cellar. See, it's locked. You're not really seeing too much in here. Ah, uh, see, here it is, <laughs> guys. There it is. So see how they hide keys so well in the game? Could have easily missed that if you're just looking around here. That is pretty awesome. That is the key we are looking for. That is the church cellar key. It's going to lock that cellar back there. That uh, is currently locked, so uh, that's pretty sweet. And we're in. Pretty cool little spot here. Let's see if we got any good loot in here. Let's cross. Through years of research, I finally found it. The gold cross. It's got to be the way into the sanctuary of light. The place my forefathers found and created as their holy temple. A place to be alone for prayer and giving. Yesterday, I got the blacksmith to forge a copy of the cross for me. So I can have one here for safekeeping. I'm going to head out tomorrow and see if it works to open the sanctuary. Very interesting. So we should probably tell the sheriff what we found now, I'm guessing. Yep, so we're going to head on back to the sheriff. We're just going to put away our gun for now. Don't need that. <laughs> Still can't believe it was hidden behind that podium there. I would have never, never seen it, but it was... It had to be in there somewhere, so I just kept on looking. And that's uh, one of the really cool things about this game, that it does so well. It's crawling with scorpions, oh that's great. I love scorpions. Smart man. If you can get past the scorpions, we may just find him. Alright. Very cool. So if you guys want to take a look at my loadout real quick, my class, my abilities. So this is what we're rocking with so far. You can see my stats here on the right. Um, so I'm a wizard class, and I've set up my guy in, or my stats in a way, and my abilities in a way that uh, I really am heavy with the, the max mana, so I can dish out a lot of spell damage, but that also means I don't have much armor protection and max health, so I end up using quite a fair amount of potions and using this nature's medicine spell quite often a lot uh, as well. So yeah, right now we're just rocking uh, the ranger rifle and the sturdy shotgun. And uh, as you can see, I have quite the collection going on here with these different... Uh, different rifles. Uh, there's, I think, four different main gun types in the game. We got a rifle, 
revolver, a repeater, a shotgun, and I think that's it. Yeah. I haven't really come across any really high level. This is the highest level revolver I have. I haven't really come across a lot of those. So yeah, and there's different uh, there's different ammo types. So you got your uncommon, which do more damage, and do your rare bullets, which do even more damage, and your rifle bullets, and then your basic rifle bullet, which is uh, infinite. All right, so we got to go head over here to the bone yard. Um, and actually, yeah, I've been to that place before, and there was a giant, giant scorpion guarding that that place. So this should be uh, this should be interesting. This should be fun. Hopefully we uh, we don't die because that would be that'd be bad. I mean, so the cool thing with this game is there really isn't any penalty that I've found so far with dying. I've only died twice in this game. Here's another scorpion. Maybe might as well take this guy out. I haven't noticed really any penalty with dying. You don't lose any of your items. Uh, you just pretty much get sent back to your bind point, which is basically um, different settlements around the area. So. Um, that basically is the only negative I've found with dying, but still no fun to die, you know? What is this? This is a... Interesting statue. And yeah, guys, the more I make these videos, I'll kind of delve into my specific uh, spells I'm using and why I'm using them and kind of the, my class setup overall. I just really wanted to get some gameplay in here, show you guys a quest or two, and show you guys how this, this game really works. And we're heading in the wrong direction, so let's, let's go south. So we got some cup, couple of wizards here, just kind of, you know, putzing around, but um, we're just going to keep on track here. I'm not going to mess around with them for now. But yeah, there, this game definitely rewards exploration, rewards uh, interest. It's, it's a really, really fun game. Really fun. If you love looting type games, then like Skyrim or any of those type of games, you're going to love uh, this game as well. I heard a scorpion somewhere here. I guess I don't know. It's a nice little flower growing out in the middle of a desert. Yep, that's that's that happens. Don't know. Don't ask me how that's possible, but that's possible. All right, and we've reached the bone yard now. All right, let's see what's happening here. Yep, there he is. He's huge. <laughs> oh my god. I've encountered one uh, as big scorpion like this in a quest before, um, but they're just still so scary. Well, let's do it, guys. Oh, the battle's on. So this game has some interesting dodging mechanics. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's so far away, I have some time to dodge his attacks. But he has a boatload of health. I don't even know why I pulled out the shotgun there. It's not smart. Let's try this other spell here. Oh, need more mana. Let's see, let's try this one. Did a little bit of damage. Oh man, he's getting closer. Need to heal up. <laughs> He's getting uh, stuck on those rocks there. So far, this has been a pretty easy battle. Not gonna lie. Put him with some poison here. If I can mana up. He is. <laughs> it's really glitching out there. That's just unfortunate. Alright, he's dead. There we go. Oh, thing is huge. Right? Some, uh... Those are some nice pants. Actually, I might end up switching to those. Let's see. Plus seven smarts. Yeah, let's see here. That definitely upgrades my max mana. That gives me a lot more max mana so I can dish out more spells. So I like that. Because uh, spells are my strongest attack, so let's see. It doesn't really lower my max health. No, I gain an armor level too, so even better. So those, yeah, those pants are awesome. So we'll keep those for now. All right, so we've slayed the giant scorpion. 
So let's go see what we can find here. The only thing I don't like about this rifle is how slow it takes to reload, but um, the damage at right now is about 86, uh, which is the highest one I've come across so far. You can upgrade your guns to dish out more damage, but basically you just need to spend coin and then these orbs of upgrade, which you kind of just get from completing quests and progressing through the game. So as you can see, I have quite a lot of orbs of upgrade. All right, so this seems to be the spot. So let's uh, go on inside and see what we can find here. Oh, there's our priest buddy. And he is a... Uh, <laughs> he's very dead. Very dead priest. Stung by one of those scorpions on the way in. Stung real good. I can feel the poison working its way through me. Don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think so either, buddy. It's nice to see the Sanctuary of Five Forefathers. At least I can die in a happy place. Oh, that's good. At least he's happy. Alright, now the best part is the loot. Let's see what we get here. Not bad. Pristine Warriors Pants. I love the name of these, uh, these items here. Um, unfortunately this is locked. This requires a tier 2 uh, weapon chest key. Um, and we actually have the fragments to build one, but we have to get the blacksmith friend to uh, build us or craft us one of those keys. So we'll be coming back here. Key crafting. Tier 2 key. <laughs> There we go. All right, so we're in business now. Okay, there are big scorpion buddies not respond, but we got another armored scorpion guarding the entrance now. So we'll take him out real quickly. Oh, he dodged that one. Hit him with that poison. Nope. There we go. Solid kill. So there it is. There's a there's another one of those upgrades. So you can get it from killing um, enemies, from completing quests, from looting. There's a couple of different ways to get those orbs of upgrade. Let's go see what's inside this chest now. Oh, glitching out there. All right. Hopefully it's good. Drum roll, please. And. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever gotten out of a tier 2 chest. And he does have a faster reload time. So that actually might be helpful, let's see. Well, let's go test it out, let's see. So this was a battle-worn rifle. So it does load actually a lot faster than our other rifle, so... That's only two less damage. I feel like that trade-off is worth it for the for the quicker rate of fire, so I think we'll stick with this for now. And we can always get it upgraded as well. Um, just gonna cost some nice expensive coin, but you know, we're, we're rolling in the dough. <laughs> Alright. Pretty cool. So this, this boneyard just seems to be swarming with these armored scorpions, and I think I'm gonna kill a couple more here, because there's some pretty good, uh, Pretty good XP and they're not too hard to kill here, so this will be a good way to test out our new rifle. Let's hit him with that poison. Love the poison. I need to upgrade that spell more, so the only spell I have maxed out for my level currently right now is my ice spell. But I want to get my other spells maxed out as well. These scorpion tails go for a lot of money too, 70, 70 coin a pop. These smaller scorpions aren't even worth killing, but um, sometimes they do drop scorpion eyes, which I can trade in 
for even better loot. I see another armor scorpion up there that we'll definitely want to take out before uh, we head back into town. So I actually did go ahead and upgrade my rifle, so now we got 91 damage for every two and a half seconds. And I upgraded some of my abilities as well. We're going to hit him with that Ice Shard for 142 every hit, minus the 66 speed. We upgraded our Fireball and our Poison as well, which is now going to do uh, 31 damage every 2 seconds for 30 seconds, which is pretty awesome. I might even look into upgrading my Nature's Medicine as well, just because uh, that's a really nice way to heal myself without having to rely on these, um, these health potions. And uh, if we don't have to use those, we can always just kind of sell those for even more money. So that'd be kind of nice. So let's go ahead and see what it would cost to upgrade this here. 200. Yeah, okay, that's, a, that's a decent one. Go ahead and upgrade this a couple of levels here. Yeah. And so what, as you can see, once we hit past 10, the gold cost doubles. So it really starts to get expensive. We got to watch these... Uh, how many upgrades we're using for glowing orbs here. So we still got five of those left from to last us through to level 14. We'll probably come across more too. All right, and I think that's a pretty good point to stop. I also just realized that I forgot to show you guys uh, me actually completing this quest, Lost Souls. So <laughs> let me go ahead and do, the, do that real quick. I'm just gonna talk to the sheriff. The preacher is dead, can confirm. Flow to the town, folks really liked him. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Poison. <laughs> yes, we do deserve to get paid. Oh, very nice. We got 200 gold and pristine scout's tunic. Let's go check that out and see, see what the stats are on this bad boy. It's for armor, plus four smarts, and plus three agility. And uh, that is basically the same as this other one, except for one more smart point. So we'll definitely uh, tack that on. And now we're looking like a farmer, so that's awesome. <laughs> it's now nighttime, and uh, yeah. You can see all the stars, very pretty game. Love this waterfall over here as well. But uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to stop there for this first video. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will be picking up and we will probably continue on with the profit path. Kind of the main quest line throughout this game. Um, show you some of the, or one of the side quests you can do. So I'm excited to uh, continue this main quest here. And uh, do the silent order. Tackle them. So see you guys in the next one.